It's time we stop this lie that has been perpetuated on the human race. The whole issue of these unbelievers of Jesus, which are called Antichrist directly in the Bible, as you'll see below, and call themselves Israel, or the Jews, which are being treated special by the USA and its NATO allies, because there are a vast number of people that call themselves Christians, but are really subverted to a new religion that goes directly against what Jesus and his chosen apostles have said in the scriptures. Many call this subverted group that is prominent in the USA Zionist Christians or dispensationalists. These Zionist Christians have worked their way into all denominations in one church building or another and in many different forms. But one common belief they have brought into the church is that the Jews are still the chosen people of God because of their genes rather than through faith in God and his son. This group favor the political parties of Republicans or GOP, grand old party. This gives that party much power as long as they go along with the Zion Christian beliefs that Israel, the Jews, are the chosen people of God. Because neither party wants to go against this vast number of people with these Zionist beliefs, because of the potential of lost votes, the government approves it sending Israel billions every year and dragging the U.S. into Israel's undeclared wars in order to create the borders, again, that were mentioned in the Old Testament. This state that has named itself after the Old Testament or Old Israel has done so in order to deceive the world that it is of God. And its borders should be as in Genesis fifteen eighteen, where it says, In the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, Unto the seed have I given this land, from the river of Egypt unto the great river the river Euphrates. But that was already given to them, and they lost it way back before Jesus because, because of unbelief. <laughs> of course, all of the countries the U.S. has been going to war with are the countries between Egypt and the Euphrates. Is this true? Is Israel or the Jews, the people that just call themselves of God, really the chosen people of God? And it is, is it their plan to expand the borders of the small territory they have named Israel to a much greater size called the Greater Israel? Google Greater Israel Project if you're not familiar with this project. Well, let's just pretend for a moment these people in Israel are the original last remaining tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel, which is the tribe of Judah, Jews. How do I say this clearly? <laughs> Jesus said directly to the most Jewish leaders in Judea in his day. Number one, if they don't believe in his in him, they're going to hell. Here's Jesus uh, talking to the Jews because they would not believe in Jesus. Jesus said in Matthew 23, 33, You serpents, you generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? 
Number two, Jesus said directly to the Jews, if you don't believe in me, you're of the devil. In John 8.44, Jesus said directly to the Jews, you are of your father the devil. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks of a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And number three, Jesus said directly to the Jews again. If you don't believe in me, you don't believe in God, and therefore you cannot claim God as your Father in heaven. It's in Luke 12, 9. Jesus said, But he that denies me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. John 5, 2, 2. For the Father judges no man, but has committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son. That says all men, even as they honor the Father. He that honors not the Son does not honor the Father, which has sent him. Now Jesus finishes up saying directly to the Jews that would not believe in him in Matthew 21, 43. Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth fruits thereof. Now Jews were the nation of God and the chosen people. But Jews stopped being a chosen people when they chose to reject the mercy that God their father had offered them through Jesus. All these verses were said directly to the Jews by Jesus when he was on earth. I did not make these verses up. This is what Jesus said. If you say you're a Christian, you cannot deny what Jesus said. Well, let me tell you, folks, the state that has named itself Israel over there in the Middle East today, that claim that they are the chosen people of God because they have the Jewish biological genes, do not believe in Jesus. Believe it or not, that group that says they are Israel or the Jews in the Middle East say Jesus is boiling an excrement in hell. Type it in on the internet. Don't take my word for it. Now, anyone that calls themselves a Christian has to believe in the scriptures of Jesus' words and the words of the apostles that Jesus chose. But if you're pushing another doctrine other than what Jesus said, you're telling false doctrine, which makes you a false prophet. But the Zionist Christians will tell you the opposite of what Jesus said and say they are still the chosen people. The Jews are still the chosen people, they say, and tell you Jews do still have the Father, even though Jews don't believe or accept Jesus as the Messiah they themselves have been waiting for. John, the Apostle Jesus, in 2 John 1, 7, said, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. This is not hard to figure out, folks, who 
did not confess that Jesus was the Christ, even back then. It was the Jews. In uh, 1 John 4, 2, Hereby you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus is come in the flesh is of God. Jews do not confess the Messiah, the Christ, as being Jesus. They are not of God. So they cannot be the chosen people of God. So why is it Zionist Christians don't believe the Bible and say the Jews are the chosen people of God because of their genes rather than faith? Even though non-believing Jews of today still fit the description perfectly of the Antichrist. Am I making this up? Read it for yourself in 1 John 4, 2. In every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already exists in the world. So it says, even now, the time this scripture was wrote, this group was trying to kill Jesus. That's the Antichrist that existed then. In their protecting of the Jews, Zionist Christians of today will try to tell you Rome is the Antichrist. But Jesus was not telling all these things to Rome. It was to the top Jews of Judea. And the Romans were not chasing down Jesus to kill him. It was the Jews that were chasing Jesus and his apostles down to seize him and his apostles. And once they were able to seize Jesus, the Jews ordered the Romans against their will to kill him. Let's look at the scripture. Here are the verses that show this. In Luke 23, 20, Pilate, therefore, willing to release Jesus, spoke again to the Jews. I mean, here Pilate is trying to talk to the Jew, trying to talk the Jews out of killing Jesus. He is a Roman. <laughs> and then in John eighteen thirty eight, Pilate says unto him, "What is truth?" And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews and said unto them, I find him no fault at all. Doesn't sound like he's after him. Pilate was saying, I have no reason to kill him. Again in John 19.6, when the chief priests, which are the top Jews, the officers saw him, they cried out saying, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate says unto them, take him and crucify him yourself, for I find no fault in him. Now who wants to kill him here? Rome? Does it sound like Pilate, the Roman, wanted Jesus dead? In John 19, 7, it says, The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law, he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. John 19, 8, When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid. Because he was afraid he was going to have to kill this guy. Now in John 19.12, and from then, thenceforth, Pilate 
sought to release him, unquote. So the Jews had to blackmail Pilate into killing Jesus. It goes on to say in John 19.12, And the Jews cried out, saying, If you let this man go, you are not Caesar's friend. Whosoever makes himself a king speaks against Caesar. In John 19.15, But they cried out, Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! Pilate says unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Now, who hates Jesus more here and wants him dead between the Jews and the Romans? The Jews wanted to follow Caesar, a Roman, not Jesus, the Son of God. But now if we go back to 1 John 4, 2, where it says, And even now already is it in the world. This it was referring to the spirit of Satan, which was the only people that wanted Jesus dead, or the Jews, who confessed not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh which is a deceiver and an antichrist. The ones Jesus was talking to the whole time, the Jews. Uh, but then it says in the same verse, but you have heard it shall come. Well, the people with the same evil intent, the same spirit against Jesus, have come again and set up this false Israel in 1948. This new group of deceivers, who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, just happens to be people calling themselves Jews again, or the descendants of the group that killed Jesus, and are fully admitting they are of the same group of unbelievers in Jesus as when Jesus was here. This gives you no other choice but to come to the conclusion the Jews are the only ones that fit the qualifications of being the Antichrist. They were already in the world when they killed Jesus and have come back in large numbers today and set up their own state on the planet again through Satan, not God, and falsely claim through deceivableness that they are of God based on genes rather than faith in Jesus. They have been infiltrating the Christian churches of all denominations and deceiving them into believing that Jews can be the chosen people of God based on genes rather than faith in his son. These people that call themselves Christians that are referred to as Zionists or Neocons are nothing more than enablers of these unbelieving Jews that Jesus said were of the devil. Here's where Jesus says it to the Jews that had the genes of Abraham. It's in John 8:44. You are of your father, the devil. Now, the whole reason Jesus says this to the Jews is because they don't believe in the father. God of all creation who sent his son to forgive them and they did not believe what Jesus was saying so let's make it clear 
If someone is of God, they believe in his son Jesus and are the chosen people. But if someone is of the devil, they are not of God and cannot be the chosen people of God. The Zionist Christians look like sheep on the outside because they say they believe that Jesus said they uh, say they believe what Jesus said but speak like the devil. <laughs> Zionist Christians go directly against the word of Jesus by saying Jews that don't believe in Jesus are not of the devil but of God. They are not really representatives of Jesus. They have not overcome the lies of the Jews. The only way to overcome them in their lies is through Jesus and the Holy Spirit. These so-called Christians that have the Jewish beliefs that Jews are the chosen people of God once had the true word of Jesus, but now have turned to the unbelieving Jews and believed their words over the words of Jesus. And without realizing it, have stopped believing in Jesus and become false prophets, thus are in danger of destruction, just like in Jude 1.5, where it says, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterwards, destroyed them that believed not. These so-called Zionist Christians believe not what Jesus said about unbelieving Jews. Zionist Christians support another group of people. That group is the neocon Republicans in particular, as well as the NATO allies that protect the unbelieving Jews of Israel by creating covert war against their enemies. This group of Jews and Zionist Christians that hold many very powerful positions around the world, whether it be high political positions, which are the so-called neocons or secular positions that rule over the world's economy, have gained themselves an incredible amount of power and strength and use that power to support the beast of the nation of Israel at all costs. Just like it says in Revelation 17, 13, these have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. The neoconservative Republican GOP supporters of this fake Israel use these Christian Zionists because of their lack of knowledge of the Bible to hinder them that want to enter into the truth of what Jesus said about who the Antichrist really is. The neocons, which are all the U.S. government officials that attach themselves to the fake Israel by believing Jews are the chosen people of God, have been growing out of the USA superpower government of the world, changing the true Christian religion of the whole world to think it's Jews that are to be in charge of the world, with this lie that Jews are the chosen people of God. But Jesus says they have the devil for their father. Satan's goal of convincing the world that he is their God through this lie of the fake Israel being the chosen people of the true God has been going on since 1948. Satan knows he has a short period of time left because it will be a complete 70 years in 2018 since a state it, that calls itself Israel started in 1948. It just so happens that it was 70 years from the birth of Jesus to the destruction of the Jewish temple and the Jewish towns around it, it which were full of unbelieving Jews, which represented the first beast, which was given the deadly wound. Going against God or his son's words in the scripture is inequity. 
If you don't have the knowledge of what Jesus said, you have no way to get to the spiritual knowledge of Jesus. He is the key that opens the door to understanding who the Antichrist is. The neoconservative republic GOP supporters of this fake Israel are helping the fake Israel use this Christian Zionist group because of its lack of knowledge of the Bible to hinder them that want to enter into the truth of what Jesus said about who the Antichrist really is. In Psalms 5, or 53, 4, it says, Have the workers of inequity no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread? They've not called upon God. Jesus said directly to the Jews in Luke 11:52, Woe unto you, teachers of the law of Moses, for you have taken away the key of knowledge, which is Jesus. You enter not in yourself, and them that were entering in, you hindered. In uh, 1 John 4, 5, they, Jews, are of the world. What they say is of the world, and the world hears them. So it's clear that the Jews are of the world, of all deceivableness, of unrighteousness. And all the once Christian churches have been subverted over to this false Christian Zionist religion because they have been given an ear to hear the words of the Jews and go by them rather than the Spirit of God and His Holy Scriptures given to us by Jesus Himself. The following verse is talking to true Christians that didn't just say they believe in Jesus like the Zion Christians but believe what Jesus said about the unbelieving Jews. And the true believers were being warned about the Jews that did not believe in the Messiah. It's in 2 Thessalonians 2.10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Here's another scripture talking about true Christians that believe what Jesus said. In John, uh, 1 John 4.4 4, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, the Jews. Because greater is he, Jesus, that is in you than he, Satan, that is in the world. <coughs> um... Let's see, where was I here? I'm going to have to stop here. Uh, one cough and I lose it. Uh, in the world. Right there. Stop. In 1 uh, First John 4, 5, they, Jews, are of the world. What they say is of the world. And the world hears them. 1 John 4, 6. We are of God. He knows. He that knows God hears us. He that is not of God hears not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. What the state of Israel and the Jews are teaching you through the Zionist Christian false doctrine is the spirit of error by saying Jews don't need Jesus as the key to understanding the scriptures. You need to understand that to be a real follower of Christ, you have to know who Jesus was talking to when he said, you are of the devil, and why he said it. If not, you cannot hear us that believe in Jesus and are not of God, according to the Bible. In Jude, it shows us, even when the twelve tribes of Israel were the chosen people, 
that God had saved out of the slavery of Egypt, and most were destroyed by God for losing their faith and not believing. It has nothing to do with your biological genes. It's all about true belief. That verse is in Jude 1.5. It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believed not. Now, if this was the case according to the Bible, you cannot deny that it has nothing to do with race. The chosen people of God, that God saved, that were called Israel back then, had all the genetics of Abraham. And yet they stopped believing, and that, is what caused their destruction. Then what makes you God's chosen people is not your biological genes. It's your faith alone and the faith you have in God that he fulfilled his promise of sending mercy to the Jews first and then to the Gentiles to be forgiven in his son. That group that calls itself Israel today in the Middle East that says they are the chosen people of God today are no longer the chosen people of God, but the chosen people of the devil, because Jews that call themselves Israel today do not believe that God had sent the Messiah Jesus and have no faith in him. They are still the same stiff-necked people that believe not, that God destroyed in the temple and surrounding towns in A.D. 70. For not believing. Jesus' apostle John clearly states, Whoever, 1 John 2.23, Whosoever denies the Son, the same has not the Father. But he that acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Jews don't believe in Jesus as the Son of the Father. God. If you don't believe what Jesus said, you don't believe in Jesus. A pro-Zionist Israel of the Middle East stance within Christianity is not biblical. Jesus said in Mark 3.35, For whoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. This proves that to be a brother to a Jew named Jesus, you don't need the genes. You need to do the will of God and believe in his Son, God sent, and be saved from damnation. No one is connected to God by genes, not even the Jews. The only Jews you want to put your faith in is the one God put in charge, Jesus. And listen to the apostles that Jesus put in charge before he left which were also Jews, but Jews of faith in Jesus. We have all been grafted in through these Jews that had faith and are not Antichrist Jews that don't believe in the Christ. God is not going to protect, bless, or guide people without faith in Christ. Like it said in Jude 1.5, even if you were his chosen because of faith, if you lose your faith, you are destroyed. Once Jesus was put in charge, he provided the path to salvation to all races. Like it says in Galatians 3.28, there is no neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. That's, of course, if you believe in God and that he sent Jesus to cover for your sins. It's not automatic for Jews or anyone else to be saved by genes. 
Galatians 3.29. And if you be Christ's, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Jews are not the heirs of promise because of race, and the Jews in the Middle East are not in Christ. Israel is not a visible place. Israel is a spiritual place now. You get to be part of it through faith in Jesus, who was the only Jew to actually fulfill the law of the Old Testament. Jesus has been given the kingship over the new spiritual Israel of believers by God himself. True Christians would not support a visible, unbelieving Israel in the Middle East that is said to be the Antichrist in the Holy Scriptures of God. It is no more than a Babylon, and it's about to fall by the sword of truth, which is being accomplished as you are reading all of this right now. In John 4.21, Jesus explains that Israel is a spiritual place now to a woman he meets. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour comes when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. John 4.23 But the hour comes and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship him. There is no need for a physical land with a mountain or a physical Israel with a Jerusalem to go to to worship the Father. Once Jesus came in human form and provided the mercy for our sins by taking the punishment of death for us, he rose and received his spiritual body back and is spiritually in charge right now. And you need to get your eternal life worshiping our spiritual God through his spiritual son, which means you have to start understanding his word in a spiritual way. Jesus said to the most Jewish people on the planet at the time, in John 5.39, Jesus said, Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. He's saying it's me you get eternal life from. But the biological Jew did not believe him and did not want to go to him for eternal life. And that's exactly what Jesus said directly to the unbelieving Jews. In John 5, 40, Jesus said to the Jews, and you will not come to me that you might have life. So how are they going to get everlasting life? John 1, 9 through 11 says, Whosoever transgresses and abides not in the doctrine of Christ has not God he that continues in the doctrine of Christ, he has both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not to your house, neither bid him Godspeed, for he that bids him Godspeed is partaker in his evil deeds. Mark 3.29 But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit has never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. 
As you might have noticed, I have different beliefs than the Zionist. I believe what Jesus said. When Jesus said to the most powerful people on the planet at the time, you are of the devil, if you don't have faith in him as the Messiah, I believe it. The Zionist Christians are basically saying to Jesus, I think it should be other than what you say, Jesus. So they'll defend non-believing Jews before, before they will defend what Jesus said. Therefore, their faith is in man. Zionist Christians are not followers of Jesus. It's very simple reasoning that if Jesus said to the unbelieving Jews, you are of the devil, and the devil is the representative of evil, then Jews that don't believe in Jesus are evil according to Jesus. Zionist Christians don't believe the word of the scripture of God, Jesus or his apostles, and they will label you as prejudiced and call it a hate crime to believe what Jesus said. Zionism is designed to take your faith away from Jesus because it originates from non-Jesus believing Jews and replaces it with you having faith in them as the chosen people of God, which is the definition of Antichrist. They are now being revealed. As it says in Second Thessalonians 2 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The wicked, unbelieving Zionist neocon, neocons and Zionist Jews and Zionist Christians are being revealed right now as you read this. 2 Thessalonians 2.9 Even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan with all powerful and s signs and lying wonders. 2 Th Thessalonians 2.11 And for this God this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. The Zionist Christians are believing the Jew signs of the great lying wonder they have performed through Satan with the resurrection of a state that God destroyed himself because of unbelief. And now the same entity he destroyed that does not believe is saying it's a miracle of God that it has come back. This is a lying false sign by saying it is a sign of God rather than the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Jews and their counterparts, the Zionist Christians, do not represent God or Jesus, but have been falsely peddling their lies that Jews are the chosen people of God based on genes rather than than faith, and that God put them back in Israel. God has sent strong delusion to all those that should believe these lies. You all should know full well what was said to all the people that were true believers in Jesus in Second Thessalonians 2.12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. These Jews and Zionist Christians have pleasure convincing all of the world of their lies that there are special that they are special people that get the promise of forgiveness without being Abraham's spiritual seed through Jesus. All of this is not going to convince Zionist Jews or Zionist Republicans or Zionist Christians or Zionist NATO because they have been sent 
strong delusion to believe this lie. So, if you understand any of this, you still have a chance to turn from those putting their faith in the unbelieving Jews. Don't fall for the lie that their army of NATO and their co-sponsors, the Zionist Christians, are pushing on the entire world. And stop voting for anyone that supports this false Israel in the Middle East. Now, if you make it all the way to the end of this, uh, if you have made it this far, I encourage you to share, copy, and redistribute this information so the true Antichrist will be revealed. Because Jesus said in Luke 12, 2, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known.